Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm not gonna be long. Let's jump right in and get started. <laughs> to talk about business um i made a post last week i think asking um on my instagram page asking like if you have any question you want to ask me about business or uh, any any general questions so i have some that i'm going to try my best and answer um so let's start So the first question is, why are you so passionate about craft? Okay, um, I've always loved craft from secondary school. I don't know why I didn't take it serious because I didn't do it for um, my final exam in like CXC in secondary school. But, um, however, I went on to college and I did um, building construction. You need to stop saying, um, um, um. <laughs> yes, um, I did. Really? We see? I did the building construction. So, being passionate about craft is, I think it's something within me. I always love doing stuff with my hands, creating. Once I see something, I like adding my own twist to it. I mean, my mind goes crazy when it comes to craft. Like, it blows up. Sometimes I can't even control it. Yeah. Second question, where did you learn to do hair? Um, this arm thing is driving me crazy. <laughs> I learned to do hair. Where did I learn to do hair? Uh, actually, my mom was a hairdresser before she took ill with a stroke. Um, so I guess it's something that's passed on to me. It's within me. Sometimes I go on YouTube and explore new ideas, new options different techniques in doing stuff. Sometimes I add my own twist to it, I create my own stuff. So yeah. What requirements are need, needed to start a business? For me, basically, I think um, starting a business, you need to plan, serious planning. You can't just wake up one morning and say, yeah, you can wake up one morning and say you're going to start a business. But then you need to plan things thoroughly. You don't just get up one day and start a business because, and you have to have a passion. You have to have confidence because if you don't have confidence within yourself to say put your stuff out there, nobody's gonna have confidence in you, and then there's where your business won't prosper. It will just, yeah. So I think you have to be passionate, you have to have confidence, and you have to plan ahead. There's more to it, but I just feel that those are the main things. So if you think there's anything else, you could probably just leave a comment down in the comment section. Yeah. What makes you stand out? What makes me stand out? I think um, my uniqueness is what makes me stand out I just love to be different if I got this from somebody or I bought I, I buy this then I'm gonna look um, look at ways I can use to make this different make it stand out that's just how that's just how unique I am five are you afraid of competition? Am I afraid of competition? 
No. <laughs> I just I just believe in doing what you have to do and just put yourself out there. I mean, yes, there may be other people who might figure that everything is all about competition, but it's not. It's basically just doing your work, putting in the work, and put your stuff out there. At the end of the day, it's up to you to promote yourself. You can't just sit back and relax and figure that everything is all fine and dandy. No. You have to put yourself out there. Six. Number six. What encouragement would you give to someone who wants to start a business? I think this basically ties in with um, what number three asks, what requirements needed. You just have to be confident, passionate about what you want to do, plan, put everything to pen and paper. You just have to um, be passionate. Even though if you don't have a passion for it, grow some sort of passion. Because, I mean, what uh, once you love what you do, it shows. It shows in whatever you put out there, whether you craft, whether you cook, bake, anything of that sort. Once you have um, a passion and love for what you do, it shows in your work. Number seven, how do you stand out in a business? How do you, basically they, they still, um, some of the questions are so similar. What, how to stand out in a business? To stand out in a business, I'm going to say you have to be unique. You have to make people want to buy. If somebody is doing this, this, you add something to it and make it stand out and get the, the, the clients, the customers to come to you. You have to add a twist to it. You don't have to go out there and do the exact same thing that somebody's doing. Because, oh, somebody is, um, let's see, Coca-Cola. Somebody is making Coca-Cola. You know, you couldn't go make the same Coca-Cola, but maybe you could add something to it, whether strawberry Coca-Cola, orange Coca-Cola. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If it has something such as orange Coca-Cola, but if you understand what I mean, you just have to add to it and then market the stuff, put the stuff out there. If you want to stand out, you feel me? Yes. Um, number eight, what are some cool business ideas? Some cool business ideas. There are so many things that you can, you can do to start a business. So many things. There's lip gloss business it's all about just you can just okay for instance you can see what is already trending you can use basically use the same ideas as what's trending what's new and just put your twist to it as i said before it's all about you marketing marketing your stuff and putting your stuff out there I don't want to be too long on this video, so let me just see. Okay. Um, what's your lifelong dream? Okay. Um, let me just twist this around and just say what, like, my career path is actually to become an architect or an interior decorator. Both kind of ties in, but that's where. I want my career path to be around so yes how do you respond to negativity I don't respond to negativity period I don't know even though if um, you see something and you feel like like it's um, directed to you I know I mean uh, I'm not gonna waste time trying to feed on negativity for those who know me knows that I'm a very positive person and I always try my best to encourage those who come in contact with me or those who that um, those who I associate with 
or those particularly um particularly in my circle so yeah bite the negativity please don't consume all that heat 11 why are you so confident oh uh, i always get this i don't know this is one thing that i always get why am i so confident i don't know i just love myself i just love myself <laughs> ah, for real um i don't know why i'm so so confident can you tell me <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can drop, drop a comment and tell me why I'm so confident because really and truly I don't know why. And I think I'm going to end it up with this last question. What do you think about doing a business that three or four other persons are already doing? Listen, there is room for everyone on this earth it doesn't matter if there is if there is three or four different person doing the same thing it doesn't matter once you as i said once you market this stuff you put this stuff out there because if you just say you're going to do something because the other person is doing it and then you start to get um let's say you start to feel bad and you start to feel frustrated because I mean you're not getting any clients and they are having clients. You just come so you have to relax. You can't just expect to just come and see and then everything just happened for you one time. No, you have to you have to market the stuff, you have to put yourself yourself out there. That's why we have social media, not just in not just to a gossip and study people business and thing you can market the stuff on facebook whatsapp instagram twitter once it's once it's some social platform so even if we had three because i mean i'm on instagram and there are so many here yeah, um businesses and I'm sure they all make it. It's just a matter of marketing and stuff, putting your stuff out there, branding your stuff properly, and getting your clients, getting your customers, and stuff like that. So it doesn't matter. And I know sometimes um, when a person decides to start a business that somebody has already be doing, and then that person who already into the business sometimes they get they feel a kind of competition, but I mean, we all want to make money. We all we all have to survive. So there's room for everybody to make some money, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I think this is just part one to all oh, this question. I have some more questions. Maybe I'll do a part of video. But hey, Okay, this is my final point that I missed. Um, what do you think about recommending like other businesses? Um, what I think about that, I don't see anything with um, recommending another business because sometimes you either you're booked or something or you can't manage to do a certain, let's say, for instance, craft. I had an experience with this some time back. Um, I do halo crumbs and stuff. So this young lady messaged me and she asked me like price, what and what. But then she sent me a picture of what she wanted and um, I normally use um, artificial flowers but the flowers that she wanted on the crown was paper. But I'm not into the paper stuff as did not because um, paper flowers is something that's trending to me and I should just jump into it. I don't know how to do it so i won't now that i don't know how to do it if i look and i research i would do it but it's not something i want to just jump into so um i ended up recommending recommending um two persons to her i said i know this person she makes crumbs and also she do the same paper flowers and then i have then, then i said they have this other person she normally made the paper flowers for decoration as well so i said you have two options i think instead of um of getting them to make it 
to me the um the paper crowns and then coming to me why don't you go to this person that made the crown on the paper and then she said she went to that person first and then that person recommended me i said wow because i i was actually shocked and then she told me that she knew the other person and she will check with the other person and so she did so when that's finished she'll come back so i can make the crown and that's that's why i said there's nothing wrong with recommending or putting on somebody to someone else i mean if you can't do something you don't force yourself to do it sometimes if it's something that you know you can easily like do right away then fine but it's okay as i say it's okay to recommend other businesses nothing is wrong with that we all have to make the money we all have to eat okay <laughs> so um thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if there's anything else that you'd like to see me do on this channel please uh, leave a comment down in the comment section Peace out. so uh, don't forget to like uh, comment share and subscribe to my channel and if there's anything that you like to see me do on this channel please leave a comment down in the comment section below see you guys in my next video